This is an infrared line following sensor, and so is this. Let's compare the two. I have placed both sensors side by side so we can compare the difference. One is the KY033 sensor we have used before, and the other is a tiny QRE113. As we move an object closer to the sensors, we should see a change on the output in the serial plotter above. The small sensor in red should be digital, but it seems to be analog, so that in the traditional KY sensor is behaving digitally. Moving the block back and forward, we can see the varying output. Pretty cool. If you have ever wondered what that part of the KY sensor is for, it is to alter the trigger distance. The fact the sensor is not digital is kind of a problem as I need it to be digital. Let's see if we can get the Pico to trigger the signal as digital. I have both sensors side by side again, and hopefully when the block gets close, it goes low. Yes, success, but why is that important? If you have been following along, you might have seen my Digital Connect 4 where I used raw IR sensors to detect the falling token. This was really fiddly and, as you can see, ugly. I also had to use an Arduino with at least seven analog inputs, which lacks Wi-Fi. I want to use Wi-Fi so I can play Connect 4 across the internet with anyone with the same project. These sensors are tiny, slim, and it seems we can hook them up directly to the Pico W Digital I.O.